Welcome back to Tech Day's 10 Minute IT Jams. Today we're profiling Ubico, a company founded in 2007 with one mission to make secure logins easy and affordable for everyone. The company is well known for its hardware security keys called YubiKeys, which offer one-time authentication with one touch and no client software needed. Joining us today is Ubico Australia and New Zealand Vice President Jeff Schomburg. Welcome, Jeff. Thanks very much, Sarah. Good to be here. All right, so firstly, can you explain what Ubico offers to organisations in Australia and New Zealand? Yeah, sure. Um, well, I think you kind of covered it in the intro, is what we provide is a, is a YubiKey. Um, some people will see them, they kind of look like that, a little uh, USB device. And its sole purpose is to provide strong multi-factor authentication to protect um, people's online presence from, you know, stop things like um, phishing or man-in-the-middle attacks that will compromise your, uh, your identity online. Brilliant. Okay, so YubiKeys are obviously passwordless. So let's talk about the problems with passwords and what risks they pose to people. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, we're all sick of passwords. That's a general sentiment that you hear. And yeah, we've all got many, many passwords, you know, often over 100 for every application that uh, requires you to have a, an identity, a username and a password. And they've all got different rules, uh, different lengths of password, different expiry periods. And Basically, it's just become really, really complex. So not unexpectedly, what people do is they reuse the, the password. And from a security point of view, that's a real risk because you know, our research shows that over 80% of the data breaches are as a result of stolen or compromised credentials, username and password. So you know, we need to try and stop that. Um, the, the data breach is a significant problem for, for organisations and individuals because you know, for an enterprises, for example, the latest research shows that in Australia and New Zealand, the, you know, the average cost of a data breach is well over $2 million, which is pretty significant. And there's not only the cost as a risk, but the disruption to your business, the time to get back online, the brand and reputational damage that does to your customers. Uh, and there's plenty of high profile examples, um, you know, far too regularly of, of how that's uh, seen in the marketplace. If you're a, a financial organisation, you know, there's, there's regulations and you can risk a fine. And um, yeah, otherwise, it's, it's pretty significant you know, di disruption. Um, that's the real issue that, that comes from have, being data breached. Yeah, exactly. So <clears throat> let's talk about passwordless authentication. How mm. is it better than the standard, standard password approach? Yeah, well, there's, we talk about passwordless and, and there's many different variations or flavours of passwordless. And, you know, there's things like an SMS. Uh, someone will send you an SMS, you, you reply to that or a magic link in an email. That doesn't require a password. So that's kind of a passwordless solution. But, but when we say passwordless, we're talking about the, the new version, the FIDO2 standard. Um, so Ubico uh, developed the first version of that, uh, U2F, uh, FIDO U2F, so FIDO stands for Fast Identity Online, um, and passwordless today is now as this FIDO2 based on a, a standard called WebAuthn. So what that is about is making it strong security, so ba baked into that standard is really, really strong security that can't be fished, um, but as well as designing in from the outset the convenience, and you mentioned at the start, you know, that, that, that one touch, that simplicity. So that's what we mean when we say passwordless today. And therefore, obviously, that's a lot better because it's simpler, because it's a global standard. It's designed with scale uh, in mind as well. So that enables a faster rollout um, of these passwordless solutions as well. So some of our, our viewers watching this video might use a password manager. What are some of the, the issues with using a password manager? Um, well, well, none really. Um, we, we're very supportive of password managers because it removes some of that complexity that we talked about before, that, that it will manage the complexity of the passwords and give you strong passwords for all of those different applications. But you know, you're putting all your eggs in one basket. Um, so there's still a bit of a risk there. So we've, we absolutely support password managers, but absolutely would support that you protect that with strong multi-factor authentication like the YubiKey as well. So you know, it's, you're not gonna get away from passwords overnight, but so using a password manager really does uh, improve your, your risk profile. 
makes it stronger. Um, we support that absolutely, but absolutely protect it with strong multi-factor authentication as well. So you mentioned that we're not going to be passwordless overnight. No. So is a passwordless future a reality or is it still a long way off? Yeah, look, we, because we, you know, we've got so many different applications and moving everything onto this, this passwordless um, standard is not going to happen overnight. Um, but some of the industry leaders are really taking us towards that uh, today. So back in March, Microsoft launched their passwordless uh, authentication on their Azure Active Directory platform. Anyone that's using Office 365 is well familiar with that. So that, that's available today. Um, and having a FIDO you know, organization, the FIDO Alliance with players like Google, Microsoft, Ubico as well, driving this, it will sort of facilitate that adoption. So you know, we see it quite a lot with organizations using the Microsoft platform, but equally some of the other platform providers, identity and access management platforms such as Ping and, and Okta that people would be familiar with, they too are introducing the, the FIDO passwordless authentication into their platforms as well. So, yeah, it, it's coming, it's, it's available today in limited forms, but over time you can see that momentum is really going to build and the advantage of a global standard is that it's easy to adopt. Um, it's got user convenience baked into it. So there'll be demand from the user community for that uh, that, that will make it, a, um, make it a, reality, a reality sooner rather than later. But uh, yeah, it, it's not gonna happen overnight. Um, because of the legacy that we have with so many different applications using so many different passwords and other methods. Yeah, Yubico is definitely uh, leading the way on passwordless authentication for sure. So that concludes our 10 minute IT jam with Yubico's Jeff Schomburg. Thank you so much for talking to us, Jeff. Pleasure. Thank you so much.